No. No. Say no. 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 <laughs> okay. I understand. No. I understand. You know, most people, most people look at the five hundred and eighty dollars a month payment and say that's my car payment. Okay. Well, it's not quite true. Part of this is a savings account. Okay. Um, about five years from now, okay, when you make that final payment uh -huh. and you own that CRV free and clear, mm -hmm. if things hold true to the way they've been in the past, mm -hmm. that vehicle will be worth about 40% of what it's worth today. Okay. So do me a favor. Okay. Take 29000 mm -hmm. and multiply that times 40%. All right. All right, that's 11600 Divide that by 60. Okay. And that's uh, 193.33. Of that 5, a 193.33 is Chris's savings account. Because you would have a free and clear asset at that point worth that times 60. Now, take 580 and subtract $193. Take 580 minus 193. Okay, 387. Your effective net car payment for that brand new black CRV EXL at the end of the day is $387. But I can't get it ready for delivery until you say okay and put your John Hancock right there. This is where I sign, right? Yes. All right, let me go ahead and do it. All right. How'd you feel? I felt good. I mean, as, as a customer, did you ever feel me pressuring you? No. Huh? All I was trying to do is help you justify that number in your own mind. Okay. Did I tell the truth? Yeah. I never lied. Um, you know, I did. The, I did the takeaway. You you started to do the takeaway. You said you said you said, Steve. Um, you wanted the leather, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, that's two thousand dollars. Well, my objection wasn't to the price of the car, was it? My objection yeah. was to the payment. Yeah. Steve, that's two thousand dollars. Now, on sixty months, that's about forty bucks. So, shoot, forty dollars of that right there is leather, which you said you wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, then, then with the EXL, just do a couple other things. You know, you figure. Uh, you can do a .02 times whatever the cost of the option is, and that'll basically give you the payment. Mm -hmm. So if leather is uh, two grand, that's forty bucks. Mm -hmm. If the XM radio is a thousand, that's twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. If the alloy wheels are a thousand, that's twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you do it that way, then you're 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 addressing the customer's concerns, and that's payment. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So th that's what I call the kinder, gentler takeaway. The takeaway I was taught to do was something like this. So Anthony, if you can't afford this one, looks like you got to go cheaper, my man, because you've got a beer budget and you're looking at a champagne car. <laughs> okay, well, that doesn't work so well. If we insult a customer, James, right. what happens to the chances of them buying a car? Very slim. Yep. Very slim. Different now. So we have to be kinder and gentler, but we still want to give the customer the information they need to make a decision that says yes, especially in your case. If people are going, if people are leaving you to go shop somewhere else, it means we haven't done our job. When they get here, we got to help them pick out the right car, justify the numbers, justify the dealership, justify ourselves, and ask them to close multiple times and help them justify the numbers by themselves. Okay. okay? The second one I did is nothing more than a feature benefit presentation. Well, I didn't feature benefit the car. I feature benefited the old payment versus the new payment. Okay. All right. The third one, I mean, nobody ever thinks about this. That 580 is not the guy's, I mean, that's a car payment, but at the end of the day, isn't he going to have some of that left? Yeah. Sure he is. So if I say, well, look, you're going to have 193 left, your effective net payment's 387, which one's easier to say yes to, 580 or 387? 387. 387. Does this make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Now, how do you learn this? Um, I got to practice it at role play. You, know. you, you got to watch that video ten times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then you'll know how to do it. All right. Thanks. All right. James, come on down here. Ah. I know. Yeah. Look, we haven't done this for a long time. I've been missing you. Ah, I've been oh. missing you. Oh shit. Okay. 
I want you to present that to me and I want you to close me and all I'm going to do is give you one simple objection. Alright? 